All the shoppers that are out there this holiday season are on high alert and with really good reason now that they know about a major security breach that happened at Target stores. Americans are shopping for insurance also on healthcare.gov and they could also be vulnerable to identity theft. House Oversight Committee Chair Daryl Issa's investigation into the flaws in the site security is progressing as more threats are flagged in the online exchange. Joining us now is David Drucker, senior correspondent with the Washington Examiner. You've been following this for us, David, and I'm, I'm curious at this point, how serious are the potential flaws and ability to steal identity information at this point? Well, according to the Republicans that are that are investigating this, and, and Daryl Issa is one, House Intelligence Chairman Mike Rogers is somebody else who's been very interested in this. The, the, the dangers for a security breach and for fraud are high, and the questioning in the committee hearings in regard to the security issues with healthcare.gov have been, Jamie, some of the most pointed that I've seen. And, and what I mean by that is normally in, in these hearings, there's a lot of political posturing. Both sides do it. That's just the way it is. But in listening to Daryl Issa uh, question administration officials and others about security issues and listening to Mike Rogers in particular question um, on security issues, they've been very pointed, very specific, and there's been a lot of research behind the questioning. And so at least according to House Republicans, um, the issue is real and the dangers are real. And it sounds like you're saying they're cutting right to the chase to get answers as quickly as possible because the potential threat for the millions of Americans that will be going to the website is vast. If it can happen at Target, it could also happen there. That seems well established. So now that they know about it, what is the government doing? Well, we're not sure yet. I mean, the government has tried to assure the American people that healthcare.gov is secure, that they don't have anything to worry about. And of course, there are states that have, that have built their own exchanges, and they are trying to make the same assurances. And I think really only time will tell. I mean, this is sort of an issue, you know, if you look at the Target um, instance, for example, nobody would have just gone and accused Target's systems of being insecure and we didn't have some vast warning that everybody should avoid Target or other retail outlets. And yet something happened. And I think with, with the Internet and with websites where you input a lot of personal data, we have, we have learned over the years that even, even sites that are deemed secure end up having breaches and it's, it's, it's kind of like you know, a national security issue. You don't sure. really know if you failed until something happens and I think that's what we're dealing with here. But you know, Republicans who are interested in poking holes in the Affordable Care Act I think over the coming months are going to spend a lot of time on this issue because it's ripe for investigation. You know, what I think is interesting and uh maybe it's I spent a small amount of time during law school as a private investigator <laughs> is it seems to me you go into every single doctor's office and they make you sign privacy regulations that you're, you're familiar with HIPAA so when you go on the website you're not only putting in your information your social security and other data that could be picked up on a strip on a credit card or otherwise but also some of your health information will they be able to protect that side of this, um, what will happen to the regulations? There's been so much emphasis on protecting health data over the last couple of years. Have we opened ourselves up to another can of worms? Well, we've opened, you know, every time we figure out with technology how to make our lives run smoother and have quicker, faster access to the information we want, we always run the risk of problems. And I think this is just another area um, where we're looking at the potential for, you know, security breaches and I don't know that there's much we can do about it. Look, the National Security Agency couldn't even stop a mid-level contractor from bla basically blowing the doors open on one of our most important national security efforts. Mm. And so the idea that somehow everything else is secure and you don't have to worry about it, you know, obviously that doesn't hold water because we've seen in both private industry w and private industry has a real interest in protecting our information, right? Because they don't want to lose customers. <laughs> Whether it's private industry or or the federal government our information is always vulnerable and I think it's going to be an issue of over time trying to plug a lot of holes but clearly where you have something new in terms of all of your medical information being available in you know 
on the World Wide Web in some fashion, that this is something new that we have to look at, and you know, people are going to have to see how they feel about it. And Democrats, are they speaking out on this? They, they are still defending the system, though, right? Well, I think, you know, look, the issue for Democrats is they're on the hook for the Affordable Care Act, for Obamacare. They voted for it, they believe in it, and they want to believe that all of the issues with healthcare.gov have been fixed. Right. And you're just not going to hear the same sort of criticism from them as you do from Republicans. All right, good that we're talking about it, though. As people put their information in, they can at least have it in the back of their mind. David Drucker, thank you so much. Merry Christmas. You too, Jamie. Thank you.